I've wanted Sun Avalon since they were first played in Yu-Gi-Oh! Link of Reigns. And if you guys didn't watch Reigns, well, honestly, you missed out on quite a lot. The show was very good. So this was one of the side characters that had a lot of story. And his entire deck just never got around to being made. But they're dropping it in Selection 10. This thing gets 13 cards. Now, like, Selection 10 is supposed to be 30 cards. I didn't think they would dedicate this to an entire frickin' theme. But here we are. So the Son of Trees has finally come for us in an unexpected twist. So Sun Seed Genius Loco, or Loki. So this is a 0, 600. It is, in fact, a plant monster. Uh, and its flavor text is a seed that can be harvested from the sacred tree once every thousand years. It is said to become the guardian spirit of the land after a millennium. So basically, if you haven't realized yet... We're going to rank up our little seed into some craziness here. Sunvine Maiden. So it's a level 1 Earth, zero, 0, You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. So when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a plant monster that was special summoned from your extra deck, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, negate that effect. Your opponent cannot target Sun Avalon and Sunvine spell and trap cards, you control card effects. Now, keep in mind that these are just 13 cards that we're getting today. And to top things off, out of everything here, I think that this deck has a potential pool of like 40 freaking cards from the anime. Like, this deck has so much potential, it's actually insane. So right off the bat, we automatically get a, hey, you can smash some of this to protect your stuff from being targeted, which is all right. Then we get Sunseed Shadow. This is a 0-400 level 1. If you control a plant normal monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. So we'll be starting off with a generic extender here. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one of your Link 2 or lower Sun Avalon or Sun Vine monsters. You cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except for plant monsters. And special summon one monster with the same name from your extra deck, but its effects are negated. Ah, uh, like I said, this entire premise of this deck is going to be dedicated to climbing up extra deck links, and then basically attempting to, I guess, put them into... It was, what, a co-link? Well, maybe not a co-link state, but an extra link state. It's, it's very interesting. So, Sunsheed Shadow here, giving us the ability to banish it from the graveyard and then special summon another Link monster from our extra deck so that we can climb up ladders, actually. So this card, looking pretty good, actually. I like this one. Sunseed Twin. Not even twins, just Sunseed Twin. 0, 0800 level 2 Earth. If this card is normal or special summoned, and you control a Sun Avalon Link monster, you can target one level, one, or one level 4 lower plant normal monster, in your graveyard in special summon. All right, so we're getting another extender for this. You can banish this card from your graveyard and one link monster you control. If there are two or more plant link monsters with the same name in your graveyard, special summon back one of them. We are definitely doing our best here to fit the bill for this extender esque archetype that we need. I should be coming up on my link one. All right, here's my link one Sun Avalon Dryas. So this is one level four. Or lower plant monster. Now I think in the anime it was what one uh, level one. No it was the normal monster would make this. I think so. Sun Avalon Dryas. If this card is link summoned to the extra monster zone by using Sun Seed Genius Loki as material, you can add a Sun Vine spell trap card from your deck to your hand. So okay, so if you use the normal to make this you will get the ability to tutor for a spell and trap card with Sunvine. That's good. Cannot be targeted by attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. So right off the bat, we got the good clause. Now, once per turn, if you take battle or effect damage, you can gain an amount equal to of life points, and if you do, special summon a Sunvine monster from your extra deck. So I, I just want to point this out here, that your opponent goes, oh, well, I'll attack you directly, and you're like, okay, I'll gain the amount of life that you just did to me, and I'm going to get my plus one off of this, all right? And some of the Sunvine things are pretty good. 
Sun Avalon Dryad. So it's two monsters, including a Sun Avalon Link monster. So you're going to have to do another monster to link up into this. This cannot be targeted for attacks, but it once again does not prevent the opponent from attacking you directly. Up to twice per turn, if you take battle or effect damage, you gain life equal to the amount of life done. And if you do, you can summon a Sunvine monster from your extra deck. So once again, those Sunvines are going to come in very clutch here. Our rank 3 tree here, so it's just two plus plant monsters to make this. So they made this entirely generic for us, thankfully. Cannot be targeted for attacks, but once again, it does not prevent the opponent from attacking you directly. Up to three times per turn, uh, if you take battle or effect damage, you can gain an amount of life equal to what you did. And you get that Sunvine monster from the extra deck yet again. Once per turn, when a monster this card points to is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack and move the attack target to another monster in your main monster zone. So once again here, you you get, if your opponent goes to attack those pesky little vines that you're summoning out here, you can redirect the attacks to wherever you want. So I really like this. And then the, the Doomsday Link 4 here. If this card is Link Summon, you can add one Sun Avalon Spell Trap card directly from your deck to your hand on a Link 4. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent the opponent from attacking you directly. Once per turn, you contribute one Link Monster's card points to destroy cards your opponent controls up to the Tributed Monster's Link rating. Alright, so we basically saw him using this card in the anime to basically devastate um, our main character's uh, whole field. It, this was probably one of the most complicated duels that I've ever seen in the anime. Alright, so now Sunvine stuff. Sunvine Gardner. So this is one plant monster to make this if you're going to hard make this. If Sun Avalon Link Monsters you control leave the field by a card effect, destroy this card. So basically, our free real estate will be taken away from us. When an attack is declared involving this card linked to a Sun Avalon Link Monster, so once again, if you've got the arrows linking to this, you'll be good. You can activate this effect, have the battle damage that you take from this turn. And then when this card is destroyed by battle, you can activate this effect. End the battle phase at the end of the damage step. So this will basically stop us. This is basically stall, but plant edition. Uh, Sunvine Healer. If a Sun Avalon Link Monster you control leaves sealed by card effect, this dies. If this card is Link Summon, you can target one Sav Sun Avalon Link Monster on the field. Gain life points equal to its Link rating times 300. When your plant link monster inflicts damage to your opponent, you gain 600 life. Okay. Pretty standard shenanigans here. All right. Here, here's the good guy. Sun Vine Thrasher. 800 attack. If a Sun Avalon link monster you control leaves the field by card effect, this will unfortunately detonate itself. If this card is possible, you target one Sun Avalon monster on the field. This card gains attack equal to its link rating times 800. So if you got the link four on the field, you got a fatty. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your zone a link monster points to, but its effects are negated. So this is this is your whole reward. All right, this is going to be the thing that you're going to be special summoning. This is how you're going to be torturing your opponent, and these will be your win cons. And to make this hard. You're going to have to do this, just a plant normal monster to make it. So, bad news is uh, if you want to try to hard summon these, good luck. All right. Uh, Sunvine Shrine. Continuous spell card. Activate this card by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard while you control Sun Avalon Link Monster. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except for plant monsters. That's fine. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four lower plant monster from your graveyard. Well, that's really good. And then once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard and target one continuous trap card in your graveyard, send it to your field, so we get the ability to recur back for our better cards. And then Sun Avalon Bloom. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When you use this card's name, second effect once per turn. Okay. So when this card is activated, if you control a Link 4 or higher plant Link monster, you can negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. Well, don't mind if I do. If your plant link monster battles, after damage calculation, you can make it gain attack equal to the total attack of all monsters it points to until the end of this turn. So we basically got us a negate here. Now, like I said, you're probably looking at all this and you're like, this is just a whole lot of nothing. And I, I do agree with you 
to an extent. Um, I'm happy that they made these cards. This is just a start, though, all right? Don't think that uh, this is it. Like I said, this man's got a pool of, like, 30, 40 freaking cards in the anime, and it's actually pure insanity what he can do. So this is the beginning of Sun Avalon, and I'm going to say that this has got a lot of potential. Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what more goodies we get out of this. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanco 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCO40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MCOGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.